the child. Probably go to McDonald's later and get some chicken nuggies. Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition of Suitcase in a Dream. It's me, Scotty K, and today we end this Hawaiian vacation saga with our final vlog from our 2024 trip to Oahu. Tis time to see what all the monkey pod hype is about. That's right, we had heard about Monkey Pod Kitchen. We've heard the hype. It was our turn to find out for ourselves. This is Monkey Pod Kitchen at Waikiki Beach. Oh, this is not Diet Coke. Diet Pepsi, or maybe Diet RC. This one is by far the prettiest presentation. By far. By far. By far. Damn. Stir. <laughs> <That's> wrong. <laughs> Plenty of potential to bust your ass. <laughs> Honestly, yours look like um, an appetizer. There's too much sauce on it. Are you hating on it already? Mm -hmm. Too much sauce. Good luck, Chloe. Scott tilts to the left. He said left headed tilted. Left tilted headed taco eater. They're good, but they're super extra. Like they could have cut back on some of the flavors. A lot of sauce, jalapeno, of sauce. onion. They could have cut back on the bulgogi a little bit. There's a lot going on. You know the real winner in this? Tortilla? Tortilla. <laughs> really good. Alrighty then. There you it's have really it. Good. It's just extra. So look. I'm definitely not leaving this place satisfied by any means. Nor am I full because I shared a couple slices with you. But this margarita was just not it for me. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to try the hand toss pizza is because on Facebook, I am in uh, an Alani Disney group, and Monkey Pot's right across the street from Disney's Alani, and families rave about Monkey Pot. I, however, honestly am not impressed at all. I'm probably going to want to get some chicken nuggies later on tonight. Um, the waitress just told us that the chef never serves like the same type twice or something to that effect and then the strawberry one is, is most popular so hopefully they redeem themselves but usually we're too stuffed to eat dessert people <laughs> Scott and I are like sure why not so hopefully that'll be the saving grace for this dinner today so my tacos were really really good however they were too good the flavor was so big and bold that it, after a while I was like, oh my god, this is too much flavor. Like, stack it off a notch, and that would have felt really good. It was almost like, and I'm not saying this is what it was, but it was almost like the meat was crappy meat, so they really threw a bunch of flavor, like sauce on it. It was over sauce. Yeah. Um, and they literally give you three, you know, soft tacos, essentially. Yeah, it looked like an appetizer. Like three, three street tacos. Right. So, um, there isn't a lot of bank for your $22 on that one. And the presentation, I feel sucked. Yeah, it was like bar tap food. Like yeah, food. yeah, exactly. All right. It's safe to say we were underwhelmed with Monkey Pod, but they somewhat redeemed themselves with this amazing strawberry cheesecake dessert. Right off the bat, I'm like, this is basically my sando in a pie, right? Yeah, but it, it's gonna be good. Give it a shot, though. Don't be such a hater. I'm not. I love strawberries. This is a this is a family presentation. Club. The scream is where it's at. That's freaking good. Come to Monkey Pie 
have for dessert. I get the strawberry cream pie. And then fake me later. That's nice. It's like a... It's like a homemade strawberry cheesecake. Like someone made that from home from scratch. That's really good. It's a win. Yeah. Agreed. Too early to be awake on vacation. Yet here we are. Why are we up this early? Well, let's go to the sand. Kaniohe sand. We set up an excursion through Captain Bruce's to head out to the Kaniohe sandbar. We have a separate sandbar video we dropped a month ago that shows the entire morning and goes into some pretty good detail about what to expect if you set up one too. But just in case you missed that video, the Captain Bruce's shuttle swung by, picked us up in the Waikiki area a little bit before 8 a.m. and took us out to the windward side where we aborted one of their boats and headed out into the Pacific Ocean to the Kaneohe sandbar. As I stated in our other videos, it's beautiful here, but it takes a moment to get used to seeing people standing in the middle of the ocean. We explored like kids as neither of us had ever been here before. We swam with the turtles and the fish, we played on paddle boards, and enjoyed this experience to the fullest. In our opinions, the per person cost of $175 was well worth it and we would recommend this to anyone at least once. The crew and staff were amazing, the transportation was adequate, this is a no-brainer. Do the Kaneohe Sandbar through Captain Bruce. Paddleboarding wasn't hard enough. If yoga wasn't hard enough, try yoga on a paddleboard. And we're just sitting here waiting for people to fall. On our second to last morning, we decided to do absolutely nothing for the rest of the trip. So we started over at the Hilton Hawaiian Village and we walked down the Waikiki Beach area. And then we decided to try our final shave ice spot of the trip, Lahaina Shave Ice in Waikiki, and it was well worth the wait as you're about to see. Now keep in mind when you see this final shave ice that we ordered the cakey size, which is the kid's size. Only I would sign up for shave ice at 10 in the morning, right? After all the different shave ice on the trip, we had no idea what to expect from Lahaina, but weren't we pleasantly surprised? She swears it's the cakey size. I don't know if she made us a big one or what, but this, this is huge. Cakey in Hawaiian means kid, and this is the cakey size, which is a kid's cup. For reference, here's my hand, and here's the kid's cup of shave ice. I forgot how many you've tried already. Billowy soft. <laughs> Pillowy soft, bro. Not gonna lie. Coconut solid. Oh, yeah. Super creamy. Oh, this is a winner. I like this. Mm. Third term. Mmm. Who knew coconut was gonna be my new favorite? Right? That's really good and creamy. How do you like the texture on this one? It's good. It's perfect. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit little bit softer, a little bit finer than Matsumoto. Mm -hmm. Right? Not quite as fine as Wyola. Wyola. Wyola sucks to me. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry. You done go there. All right. Okay. So what do you think? I think that one's the winner. Really? We'll have to recap. Yeah, we'll have to recap. Well, it's finally here. The last morning in Waikiki before heading to the airport. That means you made it through the whole Oahu vacation series. No more Hawaii until September. But in the meantime, we have trips to Vegas, Disney, and other places scheduled, and we can't wait to bring you along. Well, everyone, and time has come. It is time to head back to Northern California. I always say the worst thing about Hawaii is having to leave Hawaii. Yeah, but at least you get those few extra hours before you have to go to the airport. Like we have a couple hours this morning to have our coffee, take Sites in one so last time. Before we get back to reality, good old, But thank you for watching the videos. We hope you enjoyed the series, and we'll see you next time. Bye.